kids good morning did you like this picture children yes because this is one of the interesting topic for you to talk about so today we are going to talk about the same topic okay today we are going to learn about the animal world are you ready so let's start Our today's topic is unit number 16 animals and their uses. In this video you are going to learn about the domestic and wild animals and their uses. First let's learn about the domestic animals. We see different kinds of animals around it, around us like cat, dog, rabbit, cow, hen, pig, horse and many more. Some of them are friendly and useful. Some animals are very friendly to us and are very useful. They are called the domestic animals. Animals that are friendly and useful to us are called the domestic animals. These are the examples of domestic animals. Cat, dog, cow, hen, dog, etc. etc. Now, how domestic animals are useful to us children? This is the question that will come in your mind. How animals are useful to us? So let's see that. Animals are useful to us in many ways, like cows and buffaloes give us milk. Cow and buffalo give us milk. From milk, many items we make, like yogurt, cheese, ice cream, butter, etc., etc. Many things are made from the milk. We can make many products. Products. That we uh, that we get from milk are called dairy products. Products that we get from milk are called dairy products. The hen and the goat are reared for meat. We get meat from hen, goat, fish, etc. People who eat meat and fish are called non vegetarian people that eat meat and fish are called non vegetarian and people that eat only fruits and vegetables are called vegetarian hens and dogs give us eggs hens and dogs give us eggs eggs like meal contain a bodybuilding substance called proteins. We get protein from the eggs. Also we get protein from the milk. Non-vegetarian people eat eggs and vegetarian people drink milk for protein. We get honey from honeybees. We get honey from honeybees. Honeybees collect nectar from flowers. Honeybees collect nectar from the flowers. So what is nectar children? Nectar is a sweet juice. Nectar is a sweet juice found in flowers. There is a sweet juice found in the flower is called nectar. Honeybees turn that sweet juice into the honey and store it in their house called a beehive. Honeybees collect nectar from the flower. Nectar is the sweet juice collected from the flower. Honeybees turn that nectar into the honey and store it in their house called beehive. Honeybees live in the beehive. We also get wax from the hive. Children, this is the Behind and honeys are around the behind. This is the sheep. Sheep give us wool. 
we make woolen clothes and blankets from the wool we get woolen clothes that we wear in the winter season from the wool and we get wool from the sheep they keep us warm in winter woolen clothes keep us warm in winter wool grows like hair on the body of the sheep wool grows as like the hair on the body of the sheep now this is the silk we are uh, from where do we get the silk we get silk from the silk worm this is the silk worm we get silk from the silk worm we make cloth from the silk thread from the silk thread we make silk sarees and many other clothes from silk now let's talk about the farmers friend children these are the earthworms earthworms are called farmers friend they are under the soil earthworms are found under under the soil they make the soil loose and fertile earthworms help water flow through the soil earthworms help water flow through the soil they also make the soil loose and fertile Earthworms are very useful to farmers. They are called farmers' friends. Skin of some animals are used to make leather products like shoes, wallets, belts, furs, etc., etc. Skin of the cow. Camel and buffaloes are used to make leather products. These are the leather products. Bag, wallet, shoes, purse, etc., etc., are made from the leather. Also, our school bags are made from the leather. The skin of dead cows, buffaloes, and camels are used for making leather. Children, it is cruel. It is very cruel and bad. to kill animals for their skin we we can use the skin of animals but only after their their death we should not kill the animals only because of their skin once their death after we after we can use their skin for making leather products what is this children have you seen these cards these are the horse cart camel cart and sorry horse cart bullock cart and the donkey cart some animals carry load and draw carts for us bulls help the farmers in plowing the fields the dog is a faithful animal it guards our home the dogs are very faithful they guard our house and they protect our house so the, these are the uses of domestic animals let's quickly recall these uses first is the cow and the buffaloes give us milk hen goat and fish give us meat hens and dogs give us eggs we get honey from honey bees sheep give us wool we get silk from silk worm earth worms are called farmers friends animal skin are used to make leather products bull camel donkeys are used to carry load and draw carts dog guards our house animals are our friends they help us in many ways we should not do we should not tease or trouble them we should not hurt them we should not hurt any animals now let's talk about the wild animals some animals live in jungles 
some animals live in the forest. Some of them are very dangerous to us. Animals that live in jungle and dangerous to us are called wild animals. For example, tigers, lions, bear, snake, gorilla, monkeys, etc. are called the wild animals. We can see wild animals in a zoo. It is very cruel to keep animals in a small cage. Zookeepers try their best to keep the animals in their natural environment. So children, this was our unit number 16, animals and their uses. Now let's move towards the hard work. Question number one, hard work. F R I E N D L Y friendly U S E F U L useful D O M E S T I C domestic Y O G H U R T yogurt means curd D A R Y dairy P R O D U C T S products dairy products R E A R E D reared N O N non V E G E T A R I A N non vegetarian non vegetarian H O N E Y honey H O N E Y honey N E C T A R nectar N E C C A R nectar B double E H I V E beehive B double E H I V E beehive B L A N K E T S blankets S I L K silk W O R N S worms silk worms F E R T I L E fertile L E A T H E R leather C R U E L cruel Question number 2 answer the following question number 1 what are domestic animals answer is animals that are friendly and useful to us are called domestic animals Animals that are friendly and useful to us are called domestic animals. Question 2. Name 4 dairy products. Here children you can write any 4 dairy products. Dairy product means the product that we get from the milk. You can write any 4. Here I have written yogurt, cheese, ice cream and butter. Next is. Which animals are used for meat? And the answer is hen, goat and sheep and fish are used for meat. Number 4. Where do we get wool from? Where do we get wool from? Answer is we get wool from the sheep. We get wool from the sheep. Which animals are helpful to farmers? Which animals are helpful to farmers? Answer is Earthworms and wolves are helpful to farmers. Number 6. What are wild animals? Answer is Animals that live in jungle and dangerous to us are called wild animals. Animals that live in jungle and dangerous to us are called wild animals. So children, write down hard words in your notebook one time and fill question answer in your textbook. No need to write question answers in notebook. 
stay home stay safe thank you